Second coronavirus vaccine is on the cusp of federal approval. The FDA is expected to grant emergency use of Moderna's vaccine as early as today. CBS 46 is Adam Murphy live tonight on all things vaccine related. Good evening. Good evening, Sean. Shipments of the Pfizer vaccine continue to roll into our state. And today, some high risk cancer patients are a little safer. Some of the most susceptible people to COVID-19 got a dose of good news Friday. Dr. Jeffrey Metz at the Cancer Treatment Centers of America received a shot of the Pfizer vaccine in Metro Atlanta, and his entire team of medical professionals are next in line. For us as a cancer specialty hospital, um, you know, we take care of a high risk patient population. Um, there are immune compromised patients, sometimes from the cancer, sometimes from the cancer treatment. And so we have to do everything we can to keep COVID out of here. According to the CDC, Dr. Med said there are expected to be nearly 2 million new cancer diagnoses this year. The vaccine is the reinforcement they have been waiting for to keep their patients safe. We know from the data that's been compiled that this is as safe and as effective as any vaccine that we've ever seen uh, rolled out. Also receiving the vaccine, the vice president of the United States and Dr. Valerie Montgomery Rice, the dean at the Morehouse School of Medicine. The vaccine is going to give us the opportunity to create dead ends for the virus. And the more dead ends that we can create really enhances our ability to start to lower the entirety of the, you know, of the virus and the impact it's had on the community. The vaccine arrived in the nick of time. Med said cancer screenings and visits are down between 70 and 90 percent due to fear of the virus. You know, cancer doesn't wait for COVID and it's really essential that we get people to resume their screening, that we try to capture cancer at the early stage that we can so there are more options for treatment. Dr. Metz said this is a giant step in the right direction and he hopes to vaccinate his entire team over a two week period. Live in Midtown Atlanta tonight, Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News. Adam